Hi there, uh, Ben here. I wanted to show uh, any teachers out there that have iOS devices, that would be, you know, an iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch, how they could easily share photos with their parents using Apple's iCloud service. Now, this is not a way to share photos so that, you know, you'll, you'll have them in perpetuity or that parents can easily uh, go ahead and put your child's face on a, on a mug or a calendar or something. This is just a fun little way, if you happen to have an iCloud account, how you could just uh, update a page uh, on the web very easily uh, for your parents to see photos. So, first things first, let me go ahead and go to my iPad. Okay, and I'm going to go down here to the Photos app. This is where I want. And you can see I've got uh, a few photos already. Uh, if I come over here, I've got lots of photos and images. And if I click on Photo Stream, this is a way for uh, people that have multiple iOS devices or uh, a Mac computer to share images back and forth. And I've got two photo streams. I've got my regular photo stream, which is turned on by default. Okay, and then I've got one right here. Uh, that is a picture of just my kids, but you know what? I want to create a new photo stream. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the little plus button. Now remember, in order to do this, I'm going to have to have an iCloud account. So if you have an iCloud account and you understand how it works, great. If you don't, um, stop this video right now and go find one on YouTube. It's pretty simple. Um, but here we go. I'm going to create a photo stream. You can see right here in the two line, I could send it to somebody, uh, but right now I'm not going to. I'm just going to give it a name. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let's see, what do I want my photo stream name to be? <gasps> Class time fun. Oh, let's go ahead and let's fix that because there we go. I wanted to be very particular. Class time fun. And uh, right here where it says public website, this is the big thing right here. Do you want it on or off? I'm going to turn it on. Okay, and now I'm going to click create right there. So I've created my photo stream. You can see there are no images in it. Class time fun shared by me. Okay. If I click on this, boom, nothing's there. So we need to add some photos. So you see right up here, you got this little button right here. It says add photos. I'm going to click add photos on it. Okay. And now I can go ahead and go through all my photos and add particular ones. So let's see. I've got, uh, oh, let's see. Ooh, someone got a nice ribbon there for a piece of artwork. And someone's working hard on their artwork right here. And, uh, oh, here's just one of my kid, you know, because we're just, we're just doing an example here. So we're having some fun of uh, some images that might work. Ooh, I like this one. There we go. We'll go ahead and do this Lorax app. We've got that one. That's kind of fun. All right. So we've got a few uh, pictures here. we got one more of some kids working on a project. And now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click Done. Okay. So I click Done. Ta-da! These photos are now uh, part of my Class Time Fun photo stream okay and uh, I'll just shrink that back up and you can see I've got all my photo streams right here all right. so I'm go ahead and now up here in the right hand corner I've got a little edit button right because we've created the photo stream but we haven't shared it with anybody yet okay and if I click edit okay see how I get my nice little X's so I can go ahead and delete those if I want to I'm gonna click on class time fun or I'm gonna touch it and you can see right now it's busy publishing it Okay, so it's going ahead and it's pushing everything up to the web so that people can view it. Uh, and uh, it's going to take a little bit of time depending on your internet connection and especially depending on how many images you have. If you edit a whole lot of images, it's going to take a while. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click done for now. All right, so when I click edit and then I click on my class time fun photo stream, you can see it's done publishing, and I have a nice link here. Now, it might take you a while. Mine, it, it actually took a few minutes for this link to pop up, and I actually got it on my iPhone, and I could find it on the web um, via that uh, sooner than this was able. So it might take you a little while. But now you've got this wonderful uh, link right here, and I can go ahead and I can click Share Link. Okay. And then I could go ahead and, uh, you know, go ahead and click my mail and mail that link off to all my parents, or if I've got a Facebook page, I can put it there, or just plain copy it. Okay, and that's uh, that's what I've already done. I went ahead and I just copied it, so I'm going to click Done, and here's what it looks like. Okay, so I just 
took that link, I copied and pasted it, and this is what your public photo stream will look like. Now, everybody can see these photos, okay? Anyone in the whole wide world that has this link. So this is not like one of those ones where, oh, you gotta get an account and sign in. It's just open, it's easy to share to, and you can see all my photos are here. And there's a couple things I can do. I can click on one of the images here, and it'll just go give me a nice little ah, gallery here. I can look at this. I can go ahead and play through it as a uh, slideshow. Or I can go ahead and I can manually go back and forth. And over here in this corner, I can even download it. All right. So like I said, a really cool way to just share maybe some photos with parents that are just you know sort of in the moment I'm taking some photos maybe you're taking them with your iPhone or with the digital camera and you're importing them into uh, your iPad or iPhoto um, just a fun little way uh, to, to share kinda of what's going on in your classroom with your parents I'm gonna go back to class time fun here and there we go I'm right back to that album and I can always go back and I can add more photos to that album. So if I wanted to, I can click on this album, edit right up here in the corner and I can click add photos and I can add more and then that way uh, when you know parents, if they want to check it or if I want to send out a reminder to them, I added new photos to the photo stream, they can go ahead and get those. Um, it's a lot nicer than using a, a service that maybe you don't want advertisements up along with your photos, like if you're using Flickr or some other website to share your photos, um, if that's a concern for you. Or if you're just looking for a dead simple way to get photos uh, shared and pushed out there, it was just you know that initial setup of setting it up, getting this link right down here, and sharing that with the parents. And there you go. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't, but it's there. You know, try it or not. It's up to you. Have fun.